We see here the famous Sherman tank, made and designed in America, but dubbed the Sherman actually by the British. It was the workhorse, it was the MBT, the main battle tank of the Second World War. It was fast, it was reliable, and the most important thing is the Americans made this tank in unbelievable numbers. 52,000 examples were made in many different guises. The tank was first introduced in 1942 and was found to be adequate against the early to mid-war German tanks. But when they came up against the infamous Tiger tank, suddenly terrible deficiencies were found. As the war progressed, they had to add on pieces of armor to try to keep the crews alive inside them. The front armor covering the differential is a huge cast plate that's been bolted on the front. And you'll notice the petrol tanks are situated crucially to the right and to the left, right next to the side armor. The ammunition right underneath this welded plate here. The consequence of that, of course, is that anything hitting this tank loaded up with ammunition and petroleum, it would immediately explode. Or as the British used to call it, brew up. It became so notorious throughout the war for doing this, in actual fact, the Germans had a nickname for this tank and they called it Ronson, the famous manufacturer of lighters or lighter fuel. Put quite simply, the main deficiencies were it sits far too high in the air, so therefore it can be seen from a mile away. The second thing is its gun. Look at it, it's tiny. A 75 millimeter gun that couldn't possibly penetrate the frontal armor of any late war German tank at all. Veterans to this day who are alive are still bitter about being made to go to war and fight in a machine such as this.